Yo, today we're gonna be remaking Bad Bunny's Where She Goes, and here's a quick preview. Mami te va a dar hasta que te vela la popola con my glow. Me gusta tu flow. Tranquilita, tú siempre te robe show. Welcome to the channel everyone, if you haven't been around in the past few months, well, we've been going crazy, especially on TikTok. Two of my latest Afro remixes went viral, so if you haven't listened to them, please go check them out. Today we're gonna be remaking Bad Bunny's most recent release called Where She Goes, and I had a lot of fun doing this remake. We're actually gonna be remaking the full track, including the vocals, so stay around until the end, cause it's gonna sound good. S sort of. So yeah, let's dive into the project. Okay, so here we have the project guys, not too many layers, let's first start with the drums. So in order to remake Bad Bunny's original track, and please go listen to it if you haven't already, because it sounds amazing. First thing I noticed is the work on the kicks, and it really sounds groovy. I wanted to get a really punchy kick like this one, and I remade Bad Bunny's rhythm that goes like this. Okay, I layered it, as you can see, with a top kick like this one, just to have a bit more attack, and both together sound like this. So here's how the top kick sounds on its own. Okay, nice layer. Then we start adding some hi-hats. Make it sound brighter. And then to finish it up, we add a few more hi-hats and rights, just like these ones. Then we just need some wood planks to get that reggaeton vibe, okay? So added a few right here, and this is how it sounds. First one is the main one, goes like this, then we layer it, so full drums, it sounds like this. Next up we need a nice punchy bass, and for that I got an 808 like this one. Okay, really simple melody, combined with the drums it sounds like this. Then the second part. As you can notice guys, most recently professional pop music, it's all about having simple but powerful elements played together. And if we add some drums and a powerful bass, it already sounds full. Then for the instrumental, I just sampled the original initial synth from the song and it sounds like this. This sounds like a nice synth with some legato on it. I should have took some time to remake it on like Serum or something, but I kind of suck. <laughs> so let's hope someone makes a tutorial on that. Then the golden part of this track, guys, and by the way, if you want to get the beat, you can download the FLP in the description down below and you'll have access to the full project and also the vocal preset. The vocal preset I use here is one that I usually use on my other videos like Kid Leroy's, Justin Bieber, that kind of stuff. And this is how the vocals sound without any processing on it. Yeah, then with the processing on it. Okay, really simple guys. I can quickly go through it, but if you want to get into more detail, you can download the FLP or just watch one of the latest videos I have. I think for example, Jake's Golden Hour has this vocal preset and it sounds really similar. The only thing I changed here was autotune's format. First off on the vocal. We're gonna go with some EQ to cut out most of the low end right here. Then we added a Fab Filter Pro DS just to take out those S and P sounds. It's not even doing much here. Then Auto Tune, and this is the interesting part. As you can see, besides hitting the, the right scale, obviously, and adding a bunch of return speed, the thing that I changed was this throat length here. Okay, so the format shifting, and this is how it sounds at 100, which is a default option. And now let's go up. So by playing with this format option, we can get that lower voice to sound similar to Bad Bunny. Right, moving on, some glue compressor to tame down the vocals a bit. Threshold at around minus 15, just to really compress the heck out of it. Then some Camel Crusher, this is an old plugin I love. It's actually been discontinued, but I used it to add some distortion with the British Clean preset. So this is without... And then with... Okay, Sound Godizer to add more distortion. 
I also cranked the volume a bit up and then more compression and for this I used two plugins one was Ozone's Vintage Compressor and then OTT both of them on and now the vocal sounds really squashed really compressed but it still sounds clean. Then last but not least, the last EQ, I used it to just cut out some of the low end again because all of the frequencies added by distortion and then I boosted the high end just a tiny bit. And then a fruity limiter to get some sidechain on the vocals and I simply just routed this kick here to my main vocal by pressing right click and then route to this track. And right here on the limiter, we select our vocal here on the sidechain. So make sure you're not on the limit option. You go to compression and sidechain, right click and choose kick. And what's this gonna do? Let's play our kick with our vocal. And you can see the vocal ducking down with the sidechain compression made with fruity limiter. <laughs> Okay, so every time the kick hits, the vocal ducks down. And that is it. The last thing I did, guys, was to add some nice ad-libs. And I had a lot of fun doing this. And here's how they sound. So without any processing on it, they sound like this. Glow. Flow. Okay, then we add some processing on it. And they sound like this. Okay, with the vocal, it goes like this. Then these last ones are not in the song, but I decided to make them anyway to add a bit more contrast and sound like this. Okay, go like this. Okay, really nice for the processing of this, guys. EQ to cut out the low end. Auto-tune once again on the same key. Nothing too much. This time around, didn't use the format option. Then the glue compressor to tame it down once again. Then some fruity reverb, and I can show you what it does. So let's listen to our final sample here. This is without the reverb. goes like this. Then we turn on the reverb and what I do here, I crank the wet button a bit to like 52% and then I bring down the dry button and this makes the vocal sound really spatial, okay? So this is without. And then with. Okay, sends the vocal right to the back and it sounds really, really wide. Okay, and that is it. Let's listen to the final result. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, let me know in the comment section down below what remakes you want me to do next and I'll probably do them. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and also that little bell so you stay tuned to what I'm doing. Follow me on TikTok by the way, we're doing some funny stuff there. And that is it, I hope you enjoyed the video, hope you learned something out of it and I'll see you around. Take care.